What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? What's up? Sorry, I'm a little bit late again. <laughs> I know y'all tired of me being late, but y'all, it's, it's been a lot happening. Um, okay, so we are back. This is, what, live number three, I believe? Yep, live number three um, of Intentional Dating. Um, so I am super excited to see if we can finally get a match. Um, for those of you, <laughs> for those of you who are um, new to this show, um, what I'm doing currently right now is I have a live show called Intentional Dating, and I'm hoping that I can help some people find their forever person. Meaning, like helping somebody find their husband, their wife, you know, a long-term relationship because it's a little bit, you know. Got the web. <laughs> he'll he'll be here. They already asking for you. Um, <laughs> but uh, so hoping I'm hoping to help somebody find their or not somebody. A lot of people find their forever person because if you do, I got some major surprises for y'all. I got some things set up for the for the lovely couples. I'm scared to go live. Come find out. Huh? You're scared to go live, but come. Okay. I know a lot of people are afraid to go live, but this is this is what the show is. So if you are trying to find someone. You got to go live. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> so, um, so currently, um, we have 152 people watching. So I'm going to open up my request. If you would like to go live, meaning show your beautiful or handsome face to find your, you know, have the opportunity, possibility of finding your husband or wife tonight, because you do have to go live because you do have to answer questions. I know it's a little bit. You know, it's a little bit scary, <laughs> but I, you know what I can do for those of you who might be a little bit scared to go live because people are ignorant in the comments. I get it. I understand. I can definitely turn off the comments. Like, how does that make people feel? Like, if you get on live and I turn off the comments so that you don't have to see people being ignorant, I can do that for you. Like, what if you do that? Bali, y'all see my, y'all see my little dog right here? He trying to, he trying to find his, his, uh, wife too. Uh, <laughs> Going live though. Yes, you have to go live. That's just what it is. Because I got to ask you the questions. That's the point. I got the questions live up, sweetie. Oh, also, for those of you who are struggling with finding the words, the questions, whatever it may be, to, to, to ask somebody on a first date, if you click the link in my bio, I'm giving away a free checklist, meaning questions, really good questions, not what's your favorite color, what kind of animal do you like? Actual intentional questions to get to the bottom of what this person that you're sitting across the room or sitting across the table from really wants from you. Because I look, y'all know my story. When my fiance, I was like, nice to meet you. Boom, here's all these questions. And he was the same way. But I asked really deep intentional questions so that I knew that I was not wasting my time. Like we probably was on our day for like three and a half hours just asking questions. But it wasn't surface level. It was real deep. And I got the questions for y'all. Click the link in my bio. It's free. It's free. So I know y'all like, what? how much does it cost? It's free. It's free. I just want y'all to ask better questions, please. Because these questions that I be hearing people asking, it, like, I just can't. Like, we're, I don't care what your favorite color is, sweetie. I want to know, do you want to be married? Do you want children? Do you have trauma that you're healing from? Those type of questions, okay? Okay. But I had to do that for y'all. So I got I got a nice little 25 question checklist for y'all. So just click the link in my bio. It's free. All you got to do is put in your email. I think you're going to get like a confirmation email. And that's it. It's real simple. Then you get the checklist email to you. So it's real simple. Um, okay, are y'all ready? Yeah, it was a three hour day. It was definitely a three hour day. So if you want to, look, if you want somebody, if you want to try to find somebody tonight, you got to get on live. Simple as that. So I know y'all scared, but... Y'all be y'all be messaging me after the live like, oh man, I wish I could have got on. This is your time. So let me see who's who we got today. Uh, let me see, let me see. You signed up? Okay, okay. All right, I see I see a few people, but I just don't know about these profile pictures. Don't know about them. Um, let me see. Oh, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. So if you ready to get on live to answer these lovely questions to possibly find your person, 
request. Hit the request button, okay? I, I see some of y'all like, I want to get on. You actually have to hit the request button in order for me to see that you want to get on so that I can add you. So how this is going to go for new, for all the new people, if you want to get on here, <laughs> if you want to get on here to find your person, to possibly meet your soulmate, because who knows? You don't know if your, your person is in Atlanta, D.C., New York. You don't know where they're at. Then you have to request to get on live. I'm going to ask you some really, really deep questions so that these people can get to know you, right? And then once these people get to know you, I'm going to allow three people to hop on live and shoot their shot at you. And then you get to choose who you want to go on a date with. And then let me tell y'all, if there's a match, I got something special for the for the little couple. Okay, I got something real special. Um, push the button. But please, before you get on here, please make sure. <laughs> please make sure that you actually ready. Like you actually want to settle down. Like we're not getting on here to find somebody to smash and dash. Like we're getting on here so that you can possibly find your person. If that is not you, please do not try to request to get on here. Please do not request to get on here because there's really people trying to find their husband and wife. Okay. Okay. All right. Now with that said, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Please keep your seat fastened whenever you're seated in the case of sudden rough air. In the event of rough air, the crew will have for safety. Somebody that don't want to be on here. In an airplane. <laughs> like, look, y'all, if you... This live be so difficult to be on live. If you do not want to get on here, if you're afraid to be on the camera, please do not request. Please. Please. <laughs> like, I don't... I'm trying to be super, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be super, super nice about this. Um, I love y'all, <laughs> but Jesus, come on now. Somebody said, if y'all can't handle the comments, don't get on here. Some people are scared. Like, people be, look, some of the people in the, on, these, on this live be a little bit, you know. She was on a private jet. Can y'all hush? All right. Who who actually want to get on here? Okay, I think I see somebody. Ooh, ooh child. It's going to be a long night. I already know. <laughs> Please be intentional. Please yeah. be intentional. I, I, I always say, I'm, I'm in jail, but I would love to get on here. <laughs> you in jail, but you want to get... Okay, we're not trying to do love after lockup either right now. We're trying to find people that can meet right now in real life. I, so I see some of the people like on here, like, but I just can't like. Jeez, oh, Jesus. What are the questions first? You gotta find out. I got a nice little list for you. Um, I can't. And it's some of these profile pictures. I can't tell if you're like a man or a woman either, because it's like cartoon characters, water, the ocean, the beach. Like I, I gotta be able to see your profile, like your beautiful face. Um, because we got to make sure everybody is 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 safe. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have some experiences on here. All right. Who want to get on live? Like, I'm still waiting for somebody that I feel like. <sighs> Hold on a second. Who, who is this? Southern. <sighs> I'm going to just, just accept it. Hmm? I said I'm going to just accept it. Why y'all? Everybody declining to get on live. Everybody sure. sitting in class. Um, I got these people shook, but look, like, at, look, what's so funny is every time I get up live, like every time I end the episode, I get like 20 people that are like, oh my God, I wanted to go on. So if you want to go on, is this is your time. This is your chance. If you're not first, you're last. First and foremost. Be quiet. Um, okay. Let me Ricky try, Bobby style. Let me try this person right here. Oh man, <laughs> you, you gonna be ready forever for me to get alive. Hey, hey, look, hey listen, check it out, check it out. Okay, hey. I want to know what the questions were before before I got on, but it seemed like everybody's scared to get on, so I'm gonna try it out. You know, what I'm saying like it is what it is. I, 
Are you actually trying to find somebody though? I'm in Beaumont, Texas. Like a white. So I don't know where these people are. So, um, would you be open to somebody that it might would not be live like in a long distance relationship, which is one of the hardest things to do. It's hard. I know, but what if you find your person? Like, what if oh, she's much. willing to move there? Would you be willing to move where she at? Because love is love. Like, if you find your person, you got to just make it work. Am I lying? Um, <laughs> who knows? I don't know. I don't know how this. I don't. I have. I've been single for like four years, so I don't know. How to, I was married. Okay. Well, are you? Well, let me ask you this, because this is for real. This is for people that are like, I'm ready to settle down. Are you? I don't think, yeah, but down? it has to be the right person. And, and the crazy part about it is, I hadn't really found that same type of connection like I had a long time ago. And I've I tried a date before, but that shit don't work. It's poo poo in the pool out here in the dating pool. It's crazy. I mean, it's it's tough. But look, there's a lot of lovely ladies that are like, yes, like I see them, they're ready. So there's gonna be ladies after we hang up from like asking me asking these questions that are gonna try to shoot their shot. And you get to choose who you actually wanna have a conversation with. Are you okay with that? Let's get are you the shy? questions out. Let's you go. Not, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right, all right. okay. So Tell us your name, age. We, all, we already know you were in Beaumont, Texas, right? Okay, Quantus so name and age. Grace, I'm 40. 40. You're 40? Uh, okay, okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a living? Federal Bureau of Prison in Beaumont, Texas. I'm a retired professional boxer. Okay. I'm a retired professional You're boxer. You're a professional boxer? Oh, nice. I was How, good. Were you actually, were you good? Title. I was the alternate for the 2008 Olympic um, 2000 Olympic boxing team. I was down to Wild in the finals. Okay. Oh, damn. Excuse me. All right. Okay, y'all hear that? They said, okay, all the ladies is like, how tall are you? Let me get that out the way. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you kids. have any children? Okay. Got Ages two baby moms. And how many baby moms? And. I'm cool. How's the Everything cool. So there's, no drama. there's no drama. Okay. Six, five, and right. Okay, so ages? Oh, boy. Six, five. Okay. Is there a reason why it didn't work out with, like... That's a long moments? story. I can... That's a long story, but it's not... It's not... It's a long story. But... It's, okay. Say I... Um, we'll I come back to Some that. of my res responsibilities and falls on there, so that's... Okay. Okay. Now, are you open to more Actually, children? Actually, uh, I wanted I wanted a little girl, but I'm done. I'm, that was like second. I'm good. I'm good. You're done. Hey, you might. Oh, okay. I, oh. So you know, it's gonna be a lot of women like. It could be reversed. You know. Oh wait, well, you got a. Yeah. You got an operation done. Oh. Uh, okay. It could. I, you said it can be reversed. That pays like ten. Really? Okay, well, you might have to reverse it because there's a lot of women on here that don't got I'm children. The one children. Just to let you know. Just to let you know that. Okay. Um. So what do you, like, what is your ideal partner? Like, personality, like, if there's a certain height, weight, like, just, if you could have your perfect girl, what would that be? Uh -huh. He's 6'2", for y'all asking. He's 6'2". They all the women like, so how tall is like, he? How tall is he? It doesn't have to be. I just don't like a woman that doesn't take care of herself when you come down to the physical part, right? I would prefer like an athlete type deal, real type deal. She gotta make me laugh. If if a woman can make me laugh just as much as I make her laugh, I grin, I'm in. Okay. okay. She got my attention. I like that. And thank you for having me handsome. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, is that that's that's it. That's your idea. What about physically? For most men, we say we don't really require much. We don't really require much. It's just okay. Just a little bit of time. And not a nag. I don't like a naggy woman. No man likes a naggy woman at all. Don't like allow me to okay to go out and make my money and let me make a living and take care of my household. With when the kids not here, I take care of you. Let me cut my grass. Let me do what I do. And I'm gonna give you time and attention, but let me do what I gotta do as a man to to make sure things are listen, uh -oh. if I ain't got peace, peace I'm gone. Is what you're saying. Peace. 
I feel you. I look, I get it. And I'm a woman, so I understand. Okay. So what are your non-negotiables? Just give me your top five. Ooh. A woman who can't communicate. Easy to ang just angry angry woman. I don't like that. Mm. a lot of drama. I don't like that. I dealt with a lot of that. Uh <laughs> um I said communicate, didn't I? I should have wrote that down. Communicate. You easy to anger. I don't like that. Um, that's basically it. I don't really have like, I, like I said. I'm not. I'm not hard to please. Like I just and don't no nagging. Don't do that nagging shit. Like I, you, you don't like that nagging. You said that about twenty. <laughs> so, ladies, if you be and nagging, that, don't even try to hop on here, okay? Somebody said, nah, what about religion? Does that matter to you? Once you faithful to God, that's all that matters to me. If you can get me on the right track with it. I'm cool with that too. Oh, okay, okay. I would dive deeper into that, but I'm trying to keep the, yeah, the live short tonight because it was like two hours last time. But we gonna we gonna we probably gonna come back to that at some point. Okay. Uh, so now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper because this is what this is why we're here. Okay? okay. So I want you to answer truthfully. Don't be capping because okay. we don't like cappers. Okay. Okay. All right. So what have you done? Are you doing, are done in the past, or you want to do wow. to prepare to be a um, husband? Patient. Mm. Learn, I just really like, that right there. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like, like when I, was, I got married when I was young, like at 20, 26, 27. I was okay. married before. So you were married before? Before when I got married. Oh, so I didn't know the actual purpose behind being married. I felt like marriage was always about Hey, you know, I'm gonna have sex every day. We're gonna do this and do that. Nah, but I, I wasn't prepared mentally for the ups and downs and what come with it. So these past four and a half, four years that I've been been divorced has kind of put me in a position to like, okay, well, patience, be prayerful, and just learn to communicate more effectively as opposed to just making assumptions about a lot of stuff and just pretty much just learn about what the woman really wants. Because at the end of the day, it's like. If she ain't happy, the whole household ain't gonna be happy. So I learned just to ask questions and just to listen more. And more, I wasn't listening. I was, yeah. I was more doing like a lot of talking at her, and she was at me. I didn't know how to take that. Mm -hmm. I got offended on a lot of stuff. So, I mean, I feel like I didn't become a forty now to become a man. To like, after my divorce, it kind of just put me in a position to where I had to learn a lot of stuff, forced to learn a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. I mean, that I, sounds like a whole lot of accountability. Yeah. And what I would like for one we love to do accountability. Okay, a man is we acknowledging love. his his flaws, his mistakes. You can say that, okay, well, he's being held accountable for that because most women say, okay, well, you're not holding yourself accountable. Well, I just did hold myself accountable, but you're just not, you're not acknowledging that. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. And I will say, as women, we do that a lot. Um, I used to do that. So I get it. Um, but you have to be in a certain mental space to be able to, you know, communicate effectively and allow somebody to, you know, speak their truth, not try to interject, not try to, you know what I'm saying? Not try to change the narrative. But that's why you got to make sure you, you're actually with the right one. Because the right one, they're going to know how to handle you. They're going to know how to communicate. They're going to know what to, you know what I'm saying? Make you comfortable, make you feel And safe. also, too, another All thing, of that too, stuff like one of my, I guess I add this to my top five. When a woman is like, don't cuss me out. Don't call me a bitch. Don't call me a hoe ass this. Don't call me. Don't call me. You never supposed to call a man a weak ass man. How can you tear down your man and expect him to be your knight shining armor the next day? It don't work that way. If I'm your protector, you're supposed to never belittle me. If I should so go for the man as well, right? You can't. I was gonna say. I think yeah. at any point when it gets to that point, y'all done. You can't call me on my I'm name. And call me a weak ass no. man and expecting me to to wanna take care of you and know, love on you and all. Nah, I'm done with that. I was a boy. I was accepting that shit. Got a backbone now, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Get a little spot. Y'all, okay, ladies. Y'all hear everything he's saying, so do not get on here if you any of this, okay? Because we trying to date intentionally. Okay, let's let's keep going because we got to make sure we got time for people to get on. Okay, so are you looking for more of a traditional marriage or modern? Meaning traditional, you're the head of the household, a uh, sole provider, woman has the option to work, or is it more modern where it's like 50 50? Are y'all splitting bills? It just, you know, major it just bills depends on the like agreement. That. It depends what you want. Okay, what do you want? 
You well, say what, modern, what do you prefer? modern? Or traditional? Like that way. Like it doesn't. If if she can, if she can, she want to pitch in and help out. That's on her. If she can, I've been doing my okay. myself for four years. I'm cool with that. But just don't don't complain when I got to go to work. Okay. I got to go to work. Don't don't complain about it. Um. Okay, so so yeah. you so modern, right? So modern means so to me, so we so just so straightforward. Modern means she has to that, put in that's something. So. Okay, so we just gonna say you're cool with traditional meaning. You would take care yeah. of her and whatever. But that, that don't mean that don't mean she go out and splurge her money. Now, now, if I'm short, she gotta have my back. If I'm short, she gotta have my back. Okay. That's, that's okay. So ladies, you gotta come with something, but it don't mean that you face, gotta be out there. Nice butt and all that kind of stuff, and you say, okay, well, hey, I'm this, I'm that, I'm. I don't need you to be my trophy. Yeah, you ain't gotta be okay. my, be my so trophy. No, just, okay. okay, I don't need a woman just to walk on the side of me and say she's making me look good. I'm confident enough to say, okay, I look good, and I got my own shit. But at the end of the day, it's like if you can chip in and we can make things work. If you want to go on a vacation, we can put couple hundred bucks here every two weeks, a couple hundred bucks there a month or whatever. If we can just work towards some goals together, that means we appreciate more together as opposed like most people don't, most men or women don't appreciate it. They, don't, they haven't worked hard for it. So if a woman helps me get towards this goal, we're both going to appreciate mm -hmm. the same thing. So I would go ahead and say modern. Everybody's saying the live is lagging. So y'all can, can't hear us? Somebody say 50, 50, 50, 50. Uh, Facts, fifty fifty like better grow better. I like that. Okay. I like, I like that because it. You like fifty, like 50 better. Said. Child. So do you want traditional or you want modern? Because you, you got the latest. Let's just confused. help each other out. That's how I like it. Child. Don't okay. Confuse the lady. <laughs> All right. So oh, we man. go. We go down a little bit now. Um. Do you, well. Well, you got two more because we, we do got to let some people get on here and ask questions. Um, okay, so do you have any trauma right now that might be affecting how you approach relationships? I think I did at one point. I kind of started to okay. open up a little bit. Uh, my divorce was really, really rough. Lost a lot of money, a lot of time. Uh, spent a lot, of, a lot of money in court. Been lied on. And guns pointed in my my face. I had a lot of a lot of bullshit that was dealt with okay. that I had to deal with. Um okay. you know, I lost my mom Christmas morning uh about a year ago. So Oh I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to say I'm cool now. I'm cool now, but maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago, I wouldn't even be on here talking. I'd be like, nah, I'm burning out. So I feel like, you know, I think a lot of guys want okay. to get on and I just have to step up to the plate. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, because we, uh, I'm gonna ask you one more question. And again, beyond, beyond. All right. So, what are your strengths and your weaknesses? Now, I think that this moment right now, I think is my ability to communicate effectively. Uh, listening. Okay. Is pretty much my number one goal right now. Like just to ensure that I listen to her, make sure I think it's cool to hear her out. Sometimes, what I learned is that sometimes women don't want you to say anything he just wants you to listen so and to be more mm -hmm. affectionate it was kind of rough around the edges so okay be more affectionate and um the small things matter i like a woman that when the small things matter so hopefully hopefully that's a that's a good deal too just small things matter Not to overthink, okay. don't overthink so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask a few of these questions yeah okay Okay, well, I like the, the honesty. Um, I think that's, again, amazing. I like the fact that you are actually being truthful, you're being vulnerable, you're being open, because a lot of men are doing that. So, ladies, that's a good sign. So, I have to ask this again, because I see so many women confused. They said, so, do, are you, is it 50-50 with you, or are you going to take care of your woman? 50-50. Okay. okay, ladies, so, 50, y'all, he, he said 50-50, so don't ask no more, okay? So, if you they're don't like, want that, don't, don't be trying to shoot your shot at him. 50, so, <laughs> Uh, I'll just yeah. be like, ooh, not, not. <laughs> because Okay, well, look. Just because I'm agreeing with 50-50 doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to 
allow it to be 50 50 on a regular basis you know what i'm saying like like okay times, people, you know, times are hard now yeah. and it really takes two people in the household to make some things sure. work and i don't want no woman that's, that's looking for somebody to take care of them either i don't want that i don't want no woman okay well i'm fine enough okay. you should take care of me no nope, i don't want that i want a woman that's going Love me just as much as I love her. I'm gonna take care of me as much as I take care of her. Cause when one of us sick on that bed, we gotta take care of each other. I don't want the one believing out on me saying, well, "He invested this money, yeah. now I gotta go." Nah, you gonna put some time. In this if you want my love. <laughs> Look, I'm I love it. I love it. Okay, so at this point, ladies, if you are interested in hopping on here. I and shooting your shot. And for ladies, I know some ladies, when, we, when you say shoot your shot, that's like, no, nah, I'm not trying to do that. I'm saying, if you want to get on here, you want me to ask you a few questions so that he can see who you are, your personality, you know, the core of who you are. So he can make a decision on, okay, I want to actually shoot my shot at this woman. You need the request to get on live and answer these questions for him, okay? Okay. All right. So thank you so much for answering these questions. I know I drilled you, but thank I had to get to the core of who you were, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow some ladies to shoot their shot, get on here. You know, you can learn about them. I'm going to bring you back on it. You tell me who you want to talk about. Training Incorporated. Blue Fire. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you later. Appreciate you. That's going to be. <laughs> All right, ladies. Now, y'all done seen. Y'all done seen him. Y'all done learned about him. Y'all saw, y'all felt the, the energy, the vibes, you know, the aura, all of that. So if you're interested in hopping on here, and when I say shoot your shot, that means I'm going to ask you a few questions just so we can get to know who you are. Everybody knows who you are. Um, and then he's going to get back on here and choose who he wants to, you know, get to know, take on a date, fly them out, whatever he wants to do. Um, and I think he's a, I think he's, he's a good one. Like, we, we done had some, some real rough people you know these last few times i think he's a good catch ladies he's 6 2 he's 40 you know he got his stuff together so if you're interested in hopping on here oh what Qu quintus what that was his name can you um i know i know you don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, never mind just tweaking it um i need to tag okay i got it. i'm gonna tag his profile so y'all can go and look at his page real quick um but it Again, if you are interested in getting to know him better, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, let me make sure. Cause I, I see y'all attacking, attacking me in these comments. Like, what's his what's his profile? Yeah, that's what are you trying to get him? He's trying to date him? Huh? You say he's trying to date him? No, I'm saying the ladies were asking what's his, oh, profile. What's his profile. Yeah, so they can go look at him. Um, I would have kept him on a lot and added the female. No, because some women, some people might be nervous. So I want women to get on here and I want him to choose. That's what I want. Because I don't want him to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to get, let nobody's feelings get hurt. I want everybody to have their time. Ladies, though, when you get on here, it's going to be super short because we got we to gotta get through this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm going to ask some just good questions so that he can, like, again, learn who you are, know who you are, all of that. Um, Quintus, just, just be ready because it's about to go down in your DMs, bro. <laughs> facts okay so look let me say this too if you requesting to get on my live right now that means you're trying to shoot your shot at Quincy's okay so if you're not trying to shoot your shot then please like retract your request because that is why you're getting on here okay again that's all I'm trying to say I'm trying to you know what I'm saying because I see men on here and we're not I don't think he's trying to do that so Oh. You so ignorant. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Okay, let me ask first. Are you trying to get on here to, you know, possibly yeah, I'm have a willing to give it a shot? Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so name, age, and where you live. Actually, if you can do me a favor, it's a little dark. Can you go, can you get a little bit more? I don't do social lighting. media, so Probably. just bear with me. This is my second time seeing you. <laughs> I got Let's... you. Take your time. Oh. Take your time. Okay. okay. 
There we go. Okay, now we can see your beautiful face. There we go. All right. So, hold on, let me make sure you, okay, you, if you can back the camera up a little bit. Yeah, I want your whole, whole, whole head in there. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, can so age, name, and Marissa, where you live. Marissa, I'm okay. 34, and I live in Denver, Colorado. Okay, awesome. I do medical awesome. Uh, what do you do for a living? I have three. Do you have any children? Okay, so how many baby fathers? I was married, in, married the past, in the past for ten years. And I have one baby dad. Okay, awesome, awesome. awesome. Eleven, Yo, nine, age, and age six. Range. Two boys and a girl. Okay, so I'm actually put these questions. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, so the <laughs> first question that I have for you: um, Are you currently dealing with any trauma at this very moment that could affect how you and Quintus? you know, get to know each other? Will it, you know what I'm saying? Um, Is there um, anything hindering you from being completely open? Sure, I think there, if I'm being open and honest on a platform of people I don't know, I'm going to be real with myself. That's what yes. Um, okay. Yes, there is, but I am also proactive and in therapy, um, getting help with that which is giving me that courage and that bravery to even speak out about it. So I think if I came that far, then that's amazing yeah the fact that you're in therapy says a lot because that's one of the hardest steps for people to take which means you have accountability which i think is amazing so we love that we love therapy um so the next question um and again i want you to just be really really honest about this you know what there actually is one question that i i want to actually want to ask him but i'm gonna ask you instead how do you handle conflict in a relationship i even in all relationships, I try to avoid conflict. I don't address that well. So in a relationship, we're both, if we're not mutually able to come to the table and communicate, then we're not ready to discuss anything because I'm not going to do the arguing. I've done that. That's, that's toxic. And I don't have energy for that. So, Okay, so I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into that. So let's just say there's conflict or like, let's just say y'all got into a little argument, a little tiff or whatever it may be. Are you the person that walks away, goes into the room, calms down, then comes back and talk? Or are you the person that goes to bed, you know, let it kind of cool off and then y'all talk in the morning? Or do you hold it in? Um, speaking from experience and in my last marriage of 10 years, a lot of things got swept under the rug okay. and that backfired. So moving forward on a fresh, clean canvas, I would like to do things different okay. and not mad and address things right up front okay okay all right Quince, did you hear that i don't know if you, let me make sure you're still here i, I saw him commenting okay can y'all hear me i see a lot of people saying i think somebody said it's blurry it's lagging i want to make sure everybody's able to actually see us yes if you can see us yes if it's not you know what i'm saying if we if we clear yeah okay okay Quince say yep so that's that's the main person we're trying to talk to right Okay, so what is your ideal type? If you had the perfect man, what would he look like, his personality, all of that? Sure, so I really, really don't have a type, just brown. Um, I'm used to not even having six foot, you know? I know a lot of girls like tall, but I've never attracted tall. I've always had like 5'11", 5'6", 2 is a plus. Um, <laughs> <Okay. why? laughs> Guys, you gotta be funny. Um, I'm kind of funny. I'm used to being the funny one in the relationships. I'm just goofy. Um, okay. You got to have empathy, be caring. Okay. Family oriented. Okay. And I guess athletic. I mean, I'm not athletic, but I do play basketball and okay. I do CrossFit. So I'm not like athletic, athletic, but I'm not. But you're, you're like active. Yeah. Which is, okay. So, okay. Active. Okay. So. I know, Quint so Quintus said, what is, what is your body type? So I, I'm guessing that means he wants to see your full body just so he can get a, a clear picture. So if you can just stand up, do a quick twirl so everybody can see your beautiful yeah. body. I, I didn't think I was going to get chosen. I was really naked because I was going to jump in the oh. shower, but whatever. What, you sure? You okay. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Okay. Body, body, okay. 
All right, so quick as you see that. You see that. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you two more questions. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let somebody else get on here. Um, so have you done anything currently in the past or something that you want to do to prepare to be a wife? Shit, I think I did it like I did the wife role for 10 years. I know what to expect. Right. But so right now I've been single. I think he said he was single for four years. Mm -hmm. I've been for a little over three. Okay. So I had my fun. I mean, I know what it takes to be a wife. I mean, I was one, you know? You one. Okay, so then let me ask you this, because you're right. You did say that. My short-term memory is the best. <laughs> so from that, from that marriage, what have you done differently in order to have a better marriage in the future, better relationships? What did you take from that marriage and you're going to be implementing to the next? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, I'm with these questions. <laughs> You know, I don't want to brag, but I am confident that in that last relationship that I did my best and I gave my all and I try to do it by the book, you know, because my family, my parents are still together to this day. I don't come from a split family. Okay. So I gave that shit my all. So I don't really know what I would do different. Um, shit, maybe just listen more, but. Okay. I don't nervous now <laughs> no you did we look, i just want true plans it don't gotta be perfect okay okay well look we can accept that i mean but you know i'm gonna dive deeper right sure okay so if i had a conversation with your ex-husband what would he say you did wrong in the relationship girl you know what again i don't want to be cocky or anything but he lost a real one and to this day Ooh. like the way it ended, it ended crazy and it's crazy that i'm publicly speaking about it but it's okay because you know i'm talking about it on a podcast that i'm creating as well but it ended in a domestic nothing physical but it ended where there's like a no contact order we couldn't have closure oh. and with a narcissistic type of person mm -hmm. that's the best closure that i could have prayed for so yeah. at this point we don't co-parent we parallel parent he's involved in my kid's life what he does is what he does what i do is what i do and there's just no beef. I mean, he's bitter. It shows in his actions. But whatever. He, I heard he's getting married again. And I wish him the best. And he knows I was a real one. That's all I can say. Ooh. Okay. Well, there it is. Okay. Okay. Well, look. Thank you so much for hopping on here. Um, you seem amazing. I'm going to allow some other people to hop on. Um, I'm going to allow Quintus, Quintus. I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. But I'm going to allow him to get back on here and you know, figure out who he wants to shoot a shot at. But again, we appreciate you. Thank you. I know a lot of the women are scared, so I appreciate you for being brave. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. All, right, All right. All right. So that was Marissa. Um, she was very open. I like the fact that she she took accountability. Um, she's going through, you know, therapy currently, you know, working everything out. I think that means there's, there's, a room for, for improvement and the fact that she actually, uh, honestly has realized that because a lot of people don't a lot of people are like in denial um but i feel like if somebody's doing that then i feel like you know you have someone that is willing to do what it takes to make it work and we can't say that for a lot of people let's be honest all right so who's next who also wants to get on here um you can tell she's yeah she was very she was very much being real uh oh let me make sure i pin her profile marissa can you like put an emoji say hi so i can tag your profile uh, uh. and also y'all what i'm gonna do too at the end i'm gonna make sure i tag everybody's like instagrams at the end so if y'all want to go and slide in them i can do that because i know i didn't do that the last two lives that people are like what's their ig so i got you Y'all know. Oh my God, he's so ignorant. Okay, okay. Who's next? Literally, get her out. <laughs> this is what I gotta deal with every day. Okay, y'all. So, ladies, if you ready to get 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 on here, shoot your shot. It's um. Uh... You having too much fun, I swear. Um, if you need a wife, you need to have... look. I done gave every. You know what? I am gonna go there. Okay, Marissa, we're going to pin you right here. Okay, y'all, so I just pinned Marissa's comment. He turned it off. I can't even hear myself 
Thanks. Thanks. He's so ignorant. He gonna get yeah. You gonna get my IG flag playing on music. Who's next? Crazy. Huh? Anyways, I. I <laughs> yeah. So I tell you Marissa's Instagram. Okay, y'all. All right. So ladies, we got. I'm. I'm gonna bring two more women on here for quintesses to choose from. Oh, these poor bitches look very interesting. Looking for a lady? I am. So Ebony, Ebony Muscle, are I'm asking because I can't tell. Like there's, you know, are you yeah, Ebony Muscle. Is that a is that a woman? <laughs> no, I'm saying because some men are trying to get on here to like, you know what I'm saying, like get chosen, you know, have somebody shoot their shot. Ebony Muscle, are we yeah. I got somebody doing research on the profile first. Not somebody. Why I gotta be somebody? They, they know who you are. Who's next? Crazy. Let me see the Instagram. Uh, that's Squad Baby Clothing. Is this a clothing profile? Yeah. So you can't tell if it's a man or a woman? Ebony Muscle. This is just some, like, this is a page that's showing, like, workouts of, like, people with fitness people. I'm nervous, because they're talking about, I, I, I don't know if people you spent okay. Who's so next? next? <laughs> All right, so Ebony Muscle, I'm sorry. Apparently your page is a little we don't know if you are we don't know what you look like. So you could you could be crazy. We don't know. I would, I would suggest like if you're on like a business profile, like at least have pictures of yourself. Like I don't if you don't have pictures, you should use a personal profile because we are looking at profiles and make sure people are not aquarium. Aquarian this again like some of y'all I can't see y'all profile pictures so I don't know like if I can't see your face that I'm gonna be nervous and I'm probably not gonna push you on here Shanty teeth. so um okay. lady okay I found somebody Yo, I'm gonna get canceled <laughs> why you say that um where can I let the the questions is Hey. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Okay, before we start, are you you are you interested in, in Quinces? Yes. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so age, name, and where you're from. Or where you live currently. I'm thirty seven. Um, my name is Teresa and I'm from Philadelphia. Okay. okay. Philly in the house. What do you do for a living? I work in the health field. Okay. Um, do you have any children? If so, how many? I do. Um, I have three children. My oldest daughter is 21. She's in the Navy. My son is 15, and my baby girl is six. Oh, okay. Um, how many fathers? Three. Three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Oh, we, we already said the age range. Um, mm -hmm. so we're gonna just, we're gonna just kind of dive in. I know we're running a little bit behind, so I'm asking you. Yes, yeah, I have to go to work. Okay. Good, like, good. I wish you hurry up. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> so, um. Mm -hmm. What is your ideal partner? If you could have the perfect man, personality, looks, what is it? Um, I definitely need to be attracted to them. Okay. Um, you definitely must have a, a good personality because I like to have fun. Like, I'm a big kid. I like to go to amusement park. I like to go skate and bowling, all that good stuff. I love to travel. Mm -hmm. um, definitely have to be a Christian man. Um, I'm very active in my church. So that's, that's a must. And I um, must want to get married. Okay, so let's just say that the man is like he he has faith, but you know he's still growing in his faith. Is that would you be okay with that? Would you be okay kind of pouring into him? Yeah, or would you want him to already? Okay, no, absolutely. I don't mind pouring into him as long as he's like you know, like you said, growing in his faith. He don't mind at least going to church and you know learning more and everything like that. I'm cool with it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna dive into the 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 deeper questions. Um. Mm -hmm. What have you done, currently doing, or want to do to prepare to be a wife? Um, well, I have been in an eight-year relationship. So, um, you know, cooking, cleaning, I'm big on it. Um, making sure my man is taken care of. Um, I, I like to spoil my man as well as be spoiled. So okay. um, I'm more of a cater to my man type as well as being very submissive. Okay, so you would say you're more traditional than modern. Yes. 
absolutely. I'm I'm old school. <laughs> you know, chivalry is not dead, and I'm a I'm a true believer in what you what you do to get the person is what you do to keep them. I love it. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so then, what you saying that? How would you feel with a man that believes in more modern, like fifty fifty? Would you be okay with that? Yeah, absolutely. It's teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. So, I'm I'm for sure cool with that. Okay. And I'm a hard, like I, I I'm a workaholic. You know, and okay. I work at night because I don't have a man to come home to. So it's like, yeah, okay. I work. Okay. So then let me ask you this. So let's just say, you know, this person and you connect and he's like, hey, I kind of want you to cut back on what you're doing. I kind of want you to stay at home more. Would you be okay with that since you're a workaholic? Absolutely. As long as, you know, we pull in the, you know, equal weight and we can still maintain financially. I'm cool with it because I love the shop and I oh. love to, you know. Yeah, shop. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, yeah. sis. Okay. Oh, so do you, I didn't ask this question. Do you want any more children or are you done? So I don't want any children, but I, um, I didn't get my tubes tied because I do want to leave that option open. I'm not being selfish. So I do want to leave that option open for my husband, you know, just in case he want another child. But I'm cool with having a blended family. Okay. I just want to, you know, enjoy life. You know, if we want to have a blended family, you know, take trips with our kids. I'm totally cool with it. Okay, look, you seem peaceful. So, <laughs> fellas, I'm just saying, she seems she seems like a catch. Okay, so how do you handle conflict in a relationship? Um, I'm a big talker. I'm big on talking and communication. So, you know, I understand that, you know, sometimes you can't talk right away. Yeah. That's fine. But I'm big on not going to bed mad. So, even if you want to talk the next day, that's fine. But you still won't hold me tonight. You're still going to give me my booty rub and spoon me, and I'm going to spoon you back. So, yeah. you know, I'm I'm cool with, you know, waiting for the next day until we both cool down and and talk about it. I love it. Okay. Um. So what are your strengths and weaknesses in a relationship? Um, I'm going to say my weakness, I, I just don't, I don't like conflict in my relationship. So um, I think I don't do good with it you know like I said I'd rather talk it out and just figure out what we can do okay. if we have to change something within ourselves or however if you know I feel as though that's that's cool um my strength I can hold it down like I'm I'm a go-getter okay you know, so mm -hmm. okay okay um I see Quintus in the comments he said can he see full full and see entire body <laughs> <laughs> trying to see what he working with. I, I am dressed for work. Even though I work in the health field, I'm wearing regular clothes today. So. Oh, you good? Yeah, let me, let, me, let me see. Let me take my... Okay. Okay, <laughs> booty. Okay, we see. <laughs> <laughs> we see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, sis. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you for hopping on here. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to add one more person and then... We're going to allow Quintus to make his selection and then I'm going to let whoever talk, talk. All right? All right. All right. Thank Good you. Night. Appreciate you. All right. All right. You got to let me down. I don't know how to get down. I got you. Okay. 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 All right. Look, I'm so happy that people are joining because, look, the last two times people have been so scared. So I'm so happy. Okay. Oh, and fellas, I just want to say I know this. When a woman get on here and you're trying to and they're trying to shoot their shot, you gotta show your full body too. This is not just for the females, just to let y'all know. They wanna see the body too, okay? Um <laughs> all right, so we got one more person um that we are going to allow to hop on here tonight. Um okay. You gotta pin her too. Oh dang. Hold on, let me pin. Um Go to the beautiful it. lady that just hopped off here, can you say, hey, in the comments, we want to pin your profile? Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that everybody, look, I'm trying to make the love, I'm trying to find wives and husbands, so when people get on here, it makes me so happy. Um, Ebony Muscle, we're, I can't add you. Like, we don't know, like, your whole entire page is closed. We, we can't do that. Um, yeah, if you're... If you're oh, if I see her. There we go. Listen, if your page is blocked off, or if we can't see you, you're not getting on. If your profile picture looking sketchy. Okay, look, we got we got the last lady, so we, we you good. Get, you ain't get done. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hey. Hi. <laughs> 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 
doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, just I gotta make sure. Are you on here because you're interested in Quincy? Yes. Perfect. Okay, okay. So age, name, and where you live? I am 29, and my name is Shadonna, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you out here in the A. Yes. I'm so that means you having a hard time out here, right? Huh? You having a hard time I'm out here. Dating. Listen, I know it. I'm open. I'm open. Okay. I know it. I, look, <laughs> I know it. I know it. Okay, so what do you do for a living? So right now, I am a financial um, underwriter, so I help people basically um, get insurance, and I determine, like, their financial risk, but I'm also an entrepreneur, so I have, like, a natural deodorant line where I sell, like, natural um, body care products and natural deodorant, of course. Oh, nice. We love an entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, do you have any children? If so, how many? I don't have any children, no. Do you want children? I don't want any kids. You don't um, yeah, I don't. I don't want any kids. I'm content. Um, I talk to my friends about this all the time because it's like you're so young. I'll be 30 um, April 9th actually, um, and they're like, you know, why you don't want kids? I just don't want kids. I like I like my life without kids, and I like the potential of being like a bonus mom. And you know, <laughs> look, if you like it, I love it. Look, and you want to live your life. I get it. I get it. Okay, so what is your ideal partner? If you could have the perfect man personality, um, height, all of that, what would it be? Okay. So I would say my ideal partner, I, of course, I look more like internally, intrinsically and things like that. So I want someone that is um, compassionate, someone that has empathy, and someone that is um, able to kind of just be understanding and kind of like willing to grow and willing to, you know, adapt and evolve and, you know, just be the best person for themselves, but also for their partner. I love that answer. That's amazing. Okay. We love it. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to start diving a little bit deeper. Um, what have you done, done in the past or want to do to prepare to be a wife? I would say I'm really big on self-care um, and just self-growth in general. Um, even though, um, you know, I'm 29 and about to be 30, like I really focus on that because that's, you know what I love to do. I love to be able to see um, ways that I can change, ways that I can, you know, grow and get better at and things like that. So I would definitely say um, taking my mental health seriously um, and just being a better person and being the best person for myself. Okay. Okay. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, how do you handle conflict in a relationship? Oh, child. <laughs> so I've never been the person that is, you know, big on arguments and, you know, being combative and things like that. However, the way I like to communicate, I like to be the person that, you know, talks about the situation like head on. If it's a minuscule situation, like it's just something that's minor, like let's talk about it and let's see how we can move through this and like work through it um together mm -hmm. um but if it's something that's like a little bit more complex in a bigger situation maybe let's take our time apart let's think about it let's see how we come back together and see how we can kind of get on the same page and if not then that's fine we can just talk about it get our thoughts out and just leave it as that at that okay okay so you're not <laughs> the one that's gonna hold it in and not you know not communicate your needs and what's going on correct right Okay, good, good. We love that. We love that. We love communication. Um, if I was to have a conversation with your ex, what would they say? First of all, what was your last relationship? Let me let me ask that first. My last relationship, I've been dating. I dated last year and things like that. But my last true relationship was about two and a half years. And I would say that was about a year and a half ago. Okay, okay. So what would that ex say you did wrong in the relationship? What would they say I did wrong? And be honest. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good question like and i'm not the one to be cocky or nothing like that but i really feel as though like i'm a very understanding person and i'm a very communi communicative person like i communicate um thoroughly so i don't say that i would have a part in it um we just simply didn't mesh like some of my views just end up changing um and things like that so we kind of just drifted apart okay. so neither one of my relationships like in it in a bad way but it's just like we just end up drifting apart and it just didn't work out okay okay all right i would dive deeper but i know we short on time so <laughs> i'm gonna get at that 
Um, and my last question for you, uh, what would you say your strengths and weaknesses is in a relationship? And be honest. <laughs> he gotta know what's going on. I would say my, my weakness, I'll go with that first. My weakness is I would say hmm. Tell the truth now. Come on. I, I'm, Come trying, on. I'm trying to think of a, 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 a <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good weakness and not something just like cliche. But mm, I'm a very like in tune person. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I have like a weakness per se. Like I'm very in tune with myself. So um, if it's something that I know that, okay, I can work on this and my partner is not liking this, then I'm easily to be flexible or adjustable in, in, in that aspect. Um, but that's a growth. So, you know, I would maybe say that's a weakness, but I'm still growing on that kind of learning um, how my partner would communicate and things like that. And my strength is I'm very, you know, open-minded. I'm, I'm like very willing to kind of just get to an understanding of the person that I'm dating um, and things like that. And I think I'm a fun person. I like to have fun. Okay. I'm very spontaneous. So, yeah. Okay. I see people in the comments saying, <laughs> there was a weakness. I'm like, what, what Everybody like, what's, hey, what's, hey, what's hey. weakness? <laughs> okay, so let, let, me, let me ask you this. <laughs> why, why do you think that you're single right now? <sighs> I think that I'm single right now because I am very, not, not that I'm picky, but I'm very particular on who I give my energy to, who I give my time to. It's valuable. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just not out here with anybody, dating anybody. Like, of course, I probably can do that, but I choose not to. Like, I'm very particular on who I give my energy to, who I give my time to. Like, it's precious, you know? Okay. So you ain't got no weaknesses? No what? what? No weaknesses. I did say my weakness. I said my weaknesses is basically like just learning my partner and being able to understand like their point of view. So yeah. Okay. 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 Again, I would not be I'm leaving it there. Not listening. He's uh, okay. he said not listening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, look, I appreciate you for getting on here. Thank you. Again, I know it's scary, but we appreciate you. And I'm again, I'm gonna let Quintus get on here. That's all who you want to talk to. And if you're chosen, I'm going to let y'all talk. Okay. All right. Thank right. you. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot. Oh, she hung up. I, I forgot to get her to stand up, y'all. I know y'all been asking. Man. Let me see if I can get her back on here. Yeah, you can't be saying you can't be saying quit this up. Beautiful. Can you, um, can you, like, request again? We want, I know everybody want to see you stand up. My bad. Y'all, the time is ticking. Yeah, so I'm, I'm about, I'm, hold on. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I'm gonna need, there she go. I'm gonna, okay, let me wrap her up real quick. Yeah, we're happy. Did it? Hello? Okay, I realized I hung up while you were saying something. Yeah, <laughs> I totally forgot. Can you stand up? He want okay. everybody to see your beautiful body. Okay. Okay, let me stand up. I got shorts on. But this is me. I put my shorts on. Okay. Fit. Okay. Body. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. We pre Sorry. I, I had to get you back on here just to do that. Okay. <laughs> so thank you again. I appreciate okay. you. All right. Bye. All right. All right, Quincy. I'm going to need you to request to hop back on here. I'm going to need you to make your choice um, if you have a choice. Um, so that we can end this live. But let me tell y'all something. All the women that got on here, beautiful, beautiful bodies, face, personalities, aura, like all of them are a catch, if I'm being real. So fellas, shoot your shot. <laughs> That's what I will say. All right. Her energy was amazing, for sure. Everybody's, everybody's uh, energy was amazing. Hey. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> oh man, this is pretty cool. It is. Okay, so look, everybody said they want to see your body. Oh, for real? Yes. Let's drop the back of the camera up so we can get a full ring. I ain't doing no shit to me. <laughs> you see? Okay, okay. All right, body. All right. Okay. Better. Okay. And again, ladies, P62. For everybody asking. 
<laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is the best part. So what did you think of the lady? <clears throat> Honesty. Res respectful. You, like, you didn't like? You want me to just go by? Yes, go by Literally. from one to three. Number one did not make me feel like she was telling the truth. I'm just being honest with you about whatever she had going on. Especially when she said something about conflict. That was... You didn't like the currency? I didn't like that ass. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. What if that's the truth? Huh? That's the truth, though. I respect it, but if that's her truth, that's her truth, I just do my best to stay away from something that I know may be a possibility of some... Some drama, and then you can just kind of hear enough. Ah, I don't want to judge, but I guess since we're on here, just kind of you can kind of tell that it's still a little bit of trauma, you know, because the past, the relationship, and all that kind of stuff. Also, too, a lot every woman is going, every woman and every man is going to say, Hey, I was the catch, I was this, I was that, I was the perfect one in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, not everybody, but but, but the majority of people are going to say that, right. I know for I know for me as a man, I know I had some messed up issues in my relationship. I know I did a lot of things that I shouldn't have done, said, and all that type of shit. So I learned from that. Yeah. And uh, so you felt like it was a transparency issue, like she wasn't being completely transparent. Yeah. I mean, she was beautiful. I mean, she was beautiful. I mean, I'm not I'm not tripping on none of that, but it's just not. I I ain't doing this because this is live. Uh, no, but I just feel like it, it could have been. You know, the answers could have been better. Okay. Okay. So number two. Philly. Yes, Philly. <laughs> it was Philly was uh Philly. <laughs> Philly kind of struck me as. To be honest, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm gonna be disrespectful. It's a little bit kind of a little bit boring. It just seemed like it'd be a little boring. I don't really? Know. I thought she would have liked Philly. She sounded like exactly I, I, what you wanted. I do like Philly. I do like Philly. Philly's nice. And I hope we really can kind of, um, you know, kind of establish some type of friendship when I was, you know, as we saw love with. I like. Oh, <laughs> he's so ignorant. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please don't mind my fiance over here. He just. Anyways, okay, continue, please. Yeah, Philly was nice. Yeah, Philly was real nice. I like Philly. Philly was good. Uh, but if. For you, but we're gonna go to the what's up, number three. Let's let's go to number three. It's too young, too young, too young. Yeah, she don't see nah, I, I want a woman that's been through some stuff that know how to kind of manage some things in life. You gotta have a story. So, in other words, in other words, you about to be 30 though, huh? You about to be 30 this month in a few days. Okay, so then I gotta I gotta ask this too what is your age range? Because I didn't even ask you that. Like, what do you as far as that? What's the youngest? Well, well, the 29, like, he's like, seemed like she was kind of confused about what her weaknesses were. Okay. Like, 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 like the transparency yeah. thing again. Okay. All certain parts of it. Uh, it was, this was actually fun. I'm probably going to get back on if I don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, we're going to ask some, we're going to ask some deeper questions next time because I didn't get to ask you everything. So, I'm a, but it's cool. You could have put, okay. put a four person on. I, not, uh, we got to cap it at three because it's, it's almost 11 o'clock. Okay, so let me ask you this. Is there anybody out of the three that you would like to hop on live with uh, somebody, and maybe have a deeper? Lay up, lay down. His ass wants someone to lay down and help him pay. Look, pay for don't, don't, don't be reading the comments. <laughs> okay, 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 let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Nowadays, nowadays, these days in time, right, the majority of folk, it may not be you, but it's the majority of folk, they want bills paid. I don't have to have someone to come here in this household to pay bills. I make over hundred grand a year. I thank God for that, right? I'm not boasting or bragging. And I'm on child support, and I take care of my responsibilities on a, on a higher level, right? So at the end of the day, I don't want somebody I can just come here and live with because those are the women I don't want. Those are the ones that's not going to be my wife. See, because some of these people think that because you got a nice ass, you got a nice body, and all that kind of shit, I'm going to marry you. That's not the case, baby. I'm just being honest with you. So since you put it out there, that's not the case. I'm not one of those type of guys who's going to run to your page because you got a nice body. That don't attract me. The mind is going to attract me. I want the mind and the heart, and I'm just being honest with you, right? So at the end of the day, it's like some of those negative comments when they come down to that, every guy is not just out to get some ass, I'm being honest with you. 
It's not out that way. Because truth be told, I can show you a lot of text messages in my phone that I can be with anybody I want to that's in my phone. I just don't, I'm not ready for that chat. Okay. Now, I, well, yeah, we're not gonna respond to no more people in the comments because it's gonna yeah. be some stuff that you're not gonna like. That's just what it is. Oh yeah. So let's get back to the to the show. Um, is there any of the ladies that you would like to possibly talk to, or are you gonna pass? I'm gonna take my talents to Philly. Philly. I'm gonna take. Okay. We I mean, let's bring Philly on here then. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it back on here. Philly, you, I know she had to go to work. Philly. Let's see. <laughs> Why you keep pushing that? Right? <laughs> hey, it's all good, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with him? I'm about to slap the living. Hold on. Another Philly, if you want to get on here, let me see. Where's she at? This is crazy. I never done this day in my life before. <laughs> you ain't got to tag me. Where's she at? Homeboy's going to laugh at me. Don't tag me in there. I am tagging. You, you definitely get tired. You see all these women in here? Oh, uh, Philly, if you want to hop on live, please send a request because I do not see you right now. I know she had to go to work, so she might not be able to get on. It's okay. Just, 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 okay. okay, well, look. Uh, somebody said she's driving. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we don't want you to crash, okay? Uh, so we go allow you to hop offline, slide to her DMs. Y'all have a conversation. And let me know. Look, if y'all do decide to work on something, let me know because I got a gift for y'all. I got we gotta get a real nice gift for y'all. That's gonna help out the whole dating situation and everything. Okay. I see. You. Look at these comments. Stop looking at these comments. Nah, what they saying now? Oh my god. Oh wait, is she trying to get on? Wait, Philly. If you gonna get on, you gotta stop driving. Cause we can't we can't be having you driving and trying to you know get your shot shoot or what I can't be talking. I said get your shot shoot at shoot your shot and all that <laughs> get your shot shoot at <laughs> she wants to join okay well you gotta request me sweetie because I don't see you let Conrad no <laughs> I think he I think he wants a a, a lady can you say hold on what they say Philly where you at okay I don't think Philly can do it. Okay. All right. Well, we going How can you say someone is boring when you didn't miss anything that is, is exciting? What? Well, he going to just keep looking at the comments. Well, <laughs> you going to be going all night with you. See no. Say, ask me what type of guy I like. Ask me what I like to do. What and happened? Let them make me laugh. What? what happened? Like a date. Like, so like a date, a date to me is like going out having fun, top dog, bowling, okay. all that kind of stuff. Okay. So let me ask you this. Since, since Philly can't get on here. If y'all was to meet in person, what would the first day look like? The first day? Yeah. I want something that's going to bring out her personality. Okay. I want something that's going to bring out her personality. I don't want to go and sit and have dinner. I don't want to do that. Not, that's boring to me. You're not going to feed her? That's I'm, the way it looks. I'm going to feed her, but I'm going to give her a feed her, give her something to wash it down with and all that kind of stuff. But I'm simply saying <laughs> I'm simply saying that. <laughs> like, I want to go out and have some fun. Like, if I go to Philly, I want to go and have fun. I don't want to go do the, I don't want to go sightseeing. I want to go like some top dog, ride some go karts, have fun. I'm a big old kid. I like to have fun. Okay. I don't I care about no clubs, no like kind. I want to go have some fun. Okay. Why are everybody saying, Lala? You trying to get on here? You trying to shoot your shot? Shoot your shot. Put on. Put on. We got time. I ain't got another time. I'm gonna work that ten o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Well, since maybe I might just add one more person since Philly can't get on here. I might add one more person. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to hang up. Hold on. Let me, oh, yeah, yeah. Hang up. How you do this? I'm going to hang up on you. All right, go ahead. Hang up with my face. <laughs> Lala. You trying to you trying to hop on? Oh, he, she said no. Oh, look, Quincy's, I'm sorry. She said no. She, she not trying to do it. She not trying to do it. I'm sorry. Okay, well, look. Quintus, let me say this. Um... Unfortunately, uh, Philly could not get back on here. So if you would like to shoot your shot at Philly, then you can slide in her DMs. Um, and then Philly, you can slide back in his DMs. And then y'all let me know if y'all make, if y'all going to, you know, y'all meet up or whatever. Because I got a gift for y'all. I got a gift for the couples that we, you know, we end up matching. So anyways, guys. Um, Quincy, child. <laughs> That's why, look, if you get on here, please don't read the comments because... The comments don't have you wanting to fight. That's just what it is, okay? Okay. All right, y'all. So thank y'all once again for hopping on here tonight.
and i i love y'all the audience is growing it's, it's going to continue to grow we're going to continue to have some dope people all the ladies that got on y'all were amazing beautiful spirits um fellas make sure y'all shoot your, your shot at these ladies because these are all good women all great catches um ladies if you want to if you want to slide in quintus's i feel like i'm saying his his name wrong you want to slide in his dms Y'all know what to do. We slide these DMs, have a conversation, all of that. But everybody was dope, good energy, good conversation. And we're gonna keep this going. So y'all tune back in. That's Isaac. Just all, all just on the phone, DJing in the back, doing all of that. Anyway, so y'all hop on. Y'all hop on here again next Tuesday. We're doing this every single Tuesday night. The new time is 9 30 p.m. because some people can't um some people cannot hop on here at seven. And I feel like we get more people plus the time zone and, you know, the West Coast and all that stuff. Um, but again, I love y'all. And look, I'm going to say this one more time because I know I'm going to get a million DMs as soon as I, I click off of here. If you want to get on here, if you would like to be one of the people that have the opportunity to get on here, answer my questions, my lovely, deep, intentional questions, and have somebody shoot their shot in, in hopes of finding your husband and wife, you have to request. Like, I'm not going to look, look through the comments and choose you. You got to hit the request button and be prepared to have a, a nice little conversation because we're going to get deep, okay? If you do not want to get on here, you're afraid. I understand. I respect it. But everybody that gets on here, you got to you gotta, you gotta see a beautiful face in your body. That's just what it is. But anyways, guys, and I see people saying switch to YouTube. I will. So I'm building everything up on Instagram, and then I'm going to go to YouTube, okay? so All I want to know is one thing. Bye, y'all. I love y'all. See y'all See y'all next Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Saturday. This is what I got to deal with every single day. Okay. Bye, y'all.